Hi. Proportional integral derivative control or fuzzy logic control for motor control. Here is a circuit where we have used one microcontroller with standard connections which are all discussed in separate audios and then we have interfaced to its port 1 one keypad a standard telephone keypad a standard telephone keypad with rows and columns being indicated here and then what we have we have developed a zero voltage reference system which is required for most of the microcontroller circuits to work so we have taken a standard uh, transformer step down transformer a bridge rectifier and then a regulator for getting certain 5 volt for the uh, operation of the circuits and then the 12 volt is also taken and in the um, also it is taken for uh, the pulsating uh, DC to be given to the controller these are all discussed in separate audios and then that is how we get a zero voltage reference here and in order to restrict the zero voltage maximum till about say 4 to 5 volts we have used the general diode here and that uh, zero voltage reference is given here this is the zero voltage reference out this goes to zero voltage reference is given to the microcontroller uh, this is given to the um, interrupt one is the uh, zero voltage reference which is given and the other arrangements that we have that we have a the output uh, and the from the output we have connected uh, a half bridge uh, rectifier circuit through opto isolators these opto isolators are moc302021223 anything can be used um, which are non zvs type and then that is uh, connected to a um, a bridge uh, rectifier comprising of two SCRs and two diodes and this is the AC supply that we feed and then this is the DC that we get and uh, of course this number circuit has to be provided here which has not been indicated this number circuits are also like uh, the way the standard way of this number circuit which has to be provided and that's the uh, arrangement and then uh, we also have a feedback circuit that feedback circuit is comprising of uh, one uh, IR diode and a photo diode and what happens is that when the light falls on this uh, this transistor conducts in the conducts mean this goes to zero and uh, uh, in a shaft uh, arrangement uh, with a reflection arrangement what we do that this right reflects every rotation on this uh, photodiode so every rotation one pulse is given to pin number 12 and pin number 12 is this pin number 12 is our interrupt zero in the interrupt zero pin it is given the purpose is to uh, see that whatever speed that we uh, feed uh, the same speed has to be maintained uh, as far as the motor is concerned and if we look at the uh, so this is how and then we have a display uh, 16 uh, cross 2 display unit which is for the purpose of uh, seeing its condition and that is how uh, the whole circuit is d drawn here and if we go over to the simulation circuit the simulation circuit is like this in fact we have eliminated all that and then we just gone for the simulation where we have a keypad we have a microcontroller we have a lcd and we are going to add a cro and certain input which are given and we also have taken a back-to-back -back scr connection here for the purpose of seeing the waveform or this can be with a bridge rectifier can be converted to dc and given to a dc motor all these arrangements have been done here now once we simulate this what we find is the display indicates let me see the display yeah now the display indicates that the percentage of uh, rpm we, we have to enter the percentage of rpm uh, percentage of rpm in the sense one sec okay with the keypad here percentage of rpm it says to enter star so first i enter star once i enter star it tells me to enter the uh, rpm now as i see now supposing i enter 5 uh, 0 you can see 50 percent now it says has to save now put hash and the moment i say the hash the speed becomes 50 percent and you can see the delay time this is the delay time now the triggering has delayed 
and what the triggering is delayed the waveform or you can see the little amplitude okay now you can see the waveform is okay, let us remove this take it to this place okay and take it to little high and you can see the waveform here now the delayed on this this is the ac waveform and obviously the lamp is glowing at that this thing and the uh, the speed is uh, indicated and uh, this is how the time is delayed and uh, the whole circuit works on that principle so whatever speed we are feeding here the same speed by the feedback method will come and then will be maintaining that speed by controlling the firing angle this is the zero voltage pulse this is the delayed pulse and this is how the output is coming from the back to back is here and that is how the output is controlled thank you